When working with sensitive information, it is often necessary for organizations to allow different users access to different views of information. This is equally true whether talking about a set of documents within a folder structure or just a single document itself. Different users may need access to different sections of the document dependent on their role within the organization. Brava's group-based views provides different renditions of an individual document or folder of documents based on the access rights of various users and groups. This allows sensitive data to be accessed by the people who need to see it and protected from those who don't. In this example, we will see how an organization can use Content Server's group-based views and Brava's redaction tools to safely distribute application forms. Working together, Brava and Content Server allow the managers and human resources department to view only the information they need to perform their duties. Christine is an HR administrator for the organization. It's her job to allow only the necessary access to sensitive personal data. She recently received a new batch of job application forms. Managers would like to review the pool of applicants. So let's see how these are processed and made available to the organization using Brava. This is the template of the application form that Christine will be working from. Christine needs to protect the applicant's privacy information including address, phone number, social security number, and voluntary affirmative action information. First, Christine must set up group-based views for the HR specialists and IT managers. Then, using Brava's redaction tools, she'll create two separate views, one for the HR specialists and one for the IT managers, in order to protect sensitive information. Let's create our first group-based view. Let's add the HR specialists and IT groups to this restricted view. Here's the Restricted View group. Let's select it in order to add a Redact script to it. Select Build, then Social Security Number as our Redact script. And now give the Redact script a name. Back at our Group-Based Views folder, let's add a second Group-Based View. Remember, in our first Group-Based View, we restricted both our HR specialists and IT managers from access to the Social Security numbers. Well, in this second Group-Based View, we want the IT managers to have even more viewing restrictions to certain sensitive data. So, we'll only select the IT managers for this group. For this IT Manager view, we're not going to add a Redact script, rather we're going to add a markup. Clicking on Create, we now have our template launched in Brava. We want to redact this whole area that includes personal contact information. From the Brava taskbar, click on Redact. Select Redact Area. Then draw a box around the section. Use the resize handles if needed. Let's type in Privacy Info as the reason code for the redaction. Now let's go to the page containing the affirmative action data. We want to redact all the information that's on page 3, so let's click on Brava's Redact Page tool. Let's redact the current page, and then let's give this a new redaction reason. There is one section that is not sensitive and we can allow to peek through. So let's zoom in, then click Allow Area, and draw a box around the information that we want to peek through. This entire page, except for the Position Applied For line, will be redacted. Now let's save our markup and close out of the template. Let's give this a name and add the markup. 
Back at the Group Based Views folder, we can see the two group views that we just created. OK, so Christine's work is finished. So let's log in as Adam, an HR specialist, and check out what he can see. Adam opens the first application, which then launches in Brava. He can see from the right thumbnails pane that markups exist on pages 1 and 3. On page 1, here's where we used Brava's Redact script to block out the social security number. And again, on page 3, the Brava script found and redacted the social security number. Clicking on to see the next document in the folder, Adam now sees the application for Joan Smith. Again, as with the last document, the HR Specialist view restricts access to the Social Security numbers on pages 1 and 3. Now let's log in as Mike, an IT manager. Remember, when we created our first group-based view, we used a Brava script to find and redact Social Security numbers from all documents. For our second group-based view, we were able to use Brava's Redact Area tool to block out privacy information on page 1. Additionally, for the IT Manager view, we blocked the entire Affirmative Action section. Note the Redaction Reason code that appears on this page, as well as the information that we allowed to peek through. Once he is finished with this application form, Mike moves on to the next document in the folder. Once again, he is able to see the information he needs in order to assess the applicants, but other areas of the document are redacted. During this demonstration, we have seen how Brava enables organizations to apply group-based security across sets of content, right down to individual sections within a document. The same document can appear vastly different to users across the enterprise based on the groups that they belong to, preserving the sensitive data for those who need to see it and removing it for those who don't.